good day. In this video, we're going to simplify each one of these four expressions. And it says at the top here, simplify without using a calculator. If you understand how these four expressions work, you don't have to look at the video any further. We would look at each separately now. Before we start, please remember, if there's anything in school mathematics that you're not sure about, you can send a WhatsApp photo of your problem to this number. Then we'll try and solve your problem and send back an answer to you as soon as possible for free. The instruction says simplify without using a calculator. So the first thing we do is we write 8 as a product of its prime factors, which makes 8 to the power of 3, and we keep the 2 over 3 in the air. Now we use the exponent laws, and we times the stuff in the air with exponent law 3. So we make that a 3 over 1 times 2 over 3. 3 goes in here once, and 3 goes in there once. And our final answer is 2 to the power of 2. You can also write 4. The next expression that we must simplify has a decimal at the base and a common fraction at an exponent. The first thing we do is we change the decimal fraction to a common fraction. We did this in primary school. You make this 25 over 100, simplify it. Then we rewrite this in exponential form. That will become 2 to the power of minus 2. Keep the 3 over 2. Then we times the two exponents, and we get 2 to the power of minus 3. And then, in general, we don't like to have negative exponents in our answer, so we write it as 1 over 8. Please look at the video, negative exponents, if you don't understand what happened between these negative exponents to positives and the other way around. The next expression that we have to simplify without a calculator, we have a fraction at the base and a negative fraction as an exponent. The first thing we do is we make this 8, we change it to a product of its prime factors, which is 2 to the power of 3, and that in 25, we also do the same, so that becomes 5 to the power of 3. Keep the exponent minus 2 over 3, then using exponent law 3, you times the minus 2 over 3 with a 3 here, and it cancels and becomes minus 2, then you times the minus 2 over 3 with a 3, and you also get a minus 2 in the air there. And you have 2 to the minus 2 over 5 to the minus 2, and we don't like negative exponents, if possible. Then we take the 5 to the minus 2 up, and it becomes 5 to the positive 2. 2 to the minus 2 goes down, becomes 2 to the positive 2. If you want, you can go one step further and times this out, and you get 25 over 4. Here is our last expression with fractions in the air that we have to simplify without the calculator. The first thing we do is we prime factorize the 81 and the 27. The 81 becomes 3 to the power of 4, and the 27 becomes 3 to the power of 3. The rest I just kept the same way it was. I gave this k a little 1 in the air because he had no exponent friend in the air. Next, again with exponent law 3, we times that quarter with that 4, we get a 3 to the power of 1, times the quarter with a minus 2, and I get a minus half in the air. Kept the k to the power of a half. Next, I times the minus 1 in the air with that 3 in the air, and I get 3 to the minus 3. I times the minus 1 with a 1 there in the air, and I get a minus 1 in the air. So I get 3 to the minus 3, k to the minus 1. Next, to simplify, I write that 3 to the 1 down. Bring this 3 to the minus 3 up. It becomes 3 to the power of 3. Then that k to the minus a half times k to the half, I add the minus half and a half. Then I get k to the power of 0, and I take the k to the minus 1 up get it positive and it becomes k to the 1. So this is a simplified version of this. Stop the video and see if you see what we did. Then our final answer is 3 to the power of 4, k to the power of 1. That becomes 1, that means it sort of falls away. And you add the exponent, the 1 and the 3, and you'll get a 4 in the air. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel.